cheetahs. The speed freak of nature, like over-engineered sports cars, built for one thing only, speed. While other cats bulk up for power, the cheetah went full aerodynamics. Its body is a masterclass in biological streamlining. Light bones, long legs, and a spine that works like a coiled spring. Each stride can stretch up to seven meters. That's bus length fast. From zero to 103 seconds, flat faster than most Ferraris. But there's a catch. Cheetahs are sprinters, not marathoners. After half a minute, their engine overheats. So they rest, panting in the grass, living proof that being the fastest doesn't mean being the strongest. Their tear lines aren't for looks, their sunshades built in. And while other cats roar, cheetahs chirp. Cute. Until you realize that chirp comes before something gets run down. But for all that speed, they're fragile. No backup, no pride, no plan B. The cheetah wins with grace, not force. The purest example that power can sound like wind. Lions. The Savannah Strategists. They rule the open plains like kings, sunlit and unbothered, golden coats under a golden sky. They look relaxed, but that calm is camouflage. They're built for collision. Broad chests, thick bones, and that mane. Half armor, half ego. It's not decoration, it's design. When rivals clash, that halo becomes a shield. Nature's helmet for a heavyweight fight. What really sets lions apart isn't muscle. It's coordination. They're the only big cats that live like soldiers, in prides with order, rhythm, and strategy. The females coordinate flanking runs, while males guard territory and muscle in when the heavy lifting starts. It's less hunt and more savanna special ops. Every move is timing. Every chase, a plan. And when the hunt begins, the calm cracks open. Wildebeest scatter, zebras twist through dust, vultures start their slow circles. It's pure choreography, chaos turned tactical. Still the ultimate sound system of Africa. Their roar rolls for miles, like thunder announcing ownership. It doesn't just say, I'm here. It says, everything you hear belongs to me. They rest most of the day, not from laziness, but design. Moving a living tank burns fuel fast, so they conserve until it's time to strike. But the so-called king? He's not the continent's top killer. That honor belongs to something smaller and far less forgiving. Jaguars. The quiet authority. Deep in the Americas, where the forest sweats and the air hums, lives a cat that doesn't perform. It dominates by default. The jaguar doesn't chase, it decides. Every part of it looks overbuilt for purpose. Thick neck, wide skull, short legs, all power condensed into stillness. When it moves, it doesn't rush. It calculates. Most cats kill to eat. The jaguar kills to maintain balance, a silent referee of its own ecosystem. Its bite is physics gone rogue, strong enough to punch through bone, shell, or skull, depending on what's unfortunate that day. But the real art is restraint. It doesn't waste energy. It waits for certainty. Patience is its version of elegance. Water isn't a threat here. It's a hunting ground. Rivers fold around its body like fabric. Fish, turtles, and even caimans disappear without a splash. In a world where most predators avoid getting wet, this one rewrote the rules. Its coat mirrors the light that leaks through leaves, gold marked by black, as if the jungle painted it for camouflage and pride at once. No pattern repeats. Each one is an autograph. And when it appears in black, the so-called Panther of the Americas, the legend deepens. Same cat, different shade, same certainty. Myth and muscle in the same skin. Jaguars don't roar much. They don't need to. Everything around them already listens. Next comes their cousin who rules the same game with the opposite strategy. Less presence, more disappearance. Leopards, the master of shadows. If the jaguar is authority, the leopard is precision. It doesn't dominate space. It disappears into it. Smaller than lions, lighter than jaguars, but arguably the most adaptable of them all. 
from African grasslands to Asian forests, even into the mountains, the leopard isn't picky. It's the cat version of Wi-Fi. Full coverage, no dead zones. What makes them deadly isn't strength, it's silence. They move through brush without sound, eyes locked, breath held. One heartbeat, nothing. The next, your dinner, and the leopard already moved on. They don't just kill, they hoard. Each victim gets hauled into a tree, away from hyenas, lions, wild dogs. It's not a meal, it's a pantry. Imagine a cereal planner with a taste for altitude. Their spots aren't just style, they're science. Rosettes scatter light like an optical illusion. In grass or jungle, the body disappears. Only the consequence remains. But their success is their curse. They survive by vanishing, and that's harder every year. As cities expand, some leopards adapt, slipping into the edge of human life. Others fade. Still, no cat bends like this one. It doesn't roar. It doesn't challenge. It simply waits and wins. And if the leopard rules the shadows, the snow leopard rules the silence. Snow leopards, the ghost of the mountains. Only a few thousand snow leopards still exist, scattered across the Himalayas and Central Asia, where even oxygen gives up early. They live higher than almost any predator on Earth, in places that make drones crash and hikers reconsider their life choices. You'd think an animal that's stealthy would be safe, but it's hard to hide when the planet keeps climbing after you. Humans build higher, roads cut through passes, and every year the ghost of the mountains runs out of mountain. They're built for punishment. A coat thick enough to make parkas jealous, paws wide like natural snowshoes, and that tail, long, heavy, perfectly weighted, works as both balance pole and built-in blanket. Basically, evolution's version of multitasking. Their strength isn't bulk, it's precision. They move across rock faces like parkour athletes with manners. One leap clears a gorge most climbers would rope up for. Miss once, and you're just a rumor in the wind. They don't roar, they chuff. A soft, airy sound that's halfway between a sigh and a warning. You don't hear threat, you hear altitude. And unlike their relatives that creep into towns and suburbs, this one refuses to adapt. It climbs higher, trading comfort for solitude, like nature's most beautiful introvert. They fade not because they're weak, but because they're stubbornly perfect for a world that's vanishing. When a snow leopard looks at you, it doesn't feel like an encounter. It feels like a question. How far would you go to stay wild? Black Panthers. The shadow that thinks. If the snow leopard is a ghost, the Black Panther is the rumor people whisper about it. The name sounds like mythology, but here's the twist. There is no Black Panther. It's just a leopard or a jaguar with a rare glitch in the code, melanism, nature's version of night mode. In Asia and Africa, they're leopards. In the Americas, jaguars. Same shadow, different continent, Sometimes, if the sun catches right, you'll see the faint rosettes beneath the black, like secret markings the jungle wasn't planning to share. But at night, you don't see the panther. You see absence, outlined in instinct. Most cats win with muscle or speed. This one wins by not being there. Prey, poachers, even researchers only realize it existed once it's already gone. That's not camouflage. That's deletion. For decades, it was treated as folklore. I saw a shadow with eyes. Then trail cams proved it. The myth was never a myth. Just a cat that didn't care if you believed in it. Because this isn't a species. It's a suggestion, a feeling, a presence with no timestamp. And sometimes the most powerful thing in nature isn't what hides. It's what doesn't need to be seen. Pumas, the cat with a thousand names. Leopards vanish, panthers haunt. But the puma? The puma just keeps showing up. Also known as cougar, mountain lion, catamount, Florida panther. It's a cat with more aliases than a con artist. Same species, different names, depending on where you bump into it. And that could be almost anywhere. 
From Canadian forests to the southern tip of Chile, the puma has the widest range of any wild cat in the Americas. No jungle? No problem. Snow, desert, swamp, suburb. It's already there. You just didn't hear it coming. Because this cat doesn't roar. It screams. Like actual horror movie scream. A noise so human it's triggered 911 calls. They hunt solo. No pride, no team. Just patience, power, and perfect silence. They stalk. They wait. Then it's over before the deer even knows it auditioned. Pumas don't do drama. They don't hoard kills. Don't pose on rocks. Don't try to look majestic. They just live. Quietly. Flexibly. Everywhere. Like nature's version of airplane mode. And while other cats struggle to adapt, the puma just changes zip codes. It's not the strongest, not the fastest, not the biggest, but it might be the most future-proof. Because when everything else moves or burns or breaks, this cat adjusts the route and keeps walking. Tigers, the blueprint of power. If Disney had picked stripes instead of manes, this would be the king. The tiger isn't loud. It doesn't need a crown. It just walks in like gravity made a deal with muscle. It's the largest of all big cats. Longer, heavier, and quieter than any lion. Some reach over 300 kilos. Others don't have to. Because even a medium tiger makes everything else look like practice. Tigers don't do teams. They hunt, fight, and rule solo. No flanking runs. No backup plans. Just focus. When a tiger moves, it's not stalking. It's clearing space. They don't roar to mark territory. They roar when the silence is already enough. You don't hear the tiger coming. You feel the forest go quiet. Each one wears a unique stripe pattern, a barcode carved into gold and muscle. But what really sets them apart isn't the look, it's the presence. For centuries, tigers weren't just feared, they were worshipped as protectors, destroyers, symbols of pure living force. And yes, in case that wasn't enough, there's even a version built for snow. The Siberian Tiger, three meters long, snow-colored, and still too quiet for your camera trap. But let's be honest, even the regular version is already the final boss. In the end, every big cat mastered its own rule. Speed, strength, stealth, survival. There's no single king of the wild, only creatures that learned how to fit perfectly into chaos. And that's what nature does best. It doesn't choose favorites, it experiments. Stay curious and see you in the next one.